I used to want to save the world. Nice little picture. This beautiful place. That's awesome. But the closer you get, the more you see the great darkness within. Wow. I learned this the hard way a long, long time ago. What is your mission? To stop the war. What war? The war to end all wars. Weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine. The war can be ours. Wherever you are. You are in more danger than you think. I cannot stand by while innocent lives are lost. Be careful, Diana. Who is this woman? She's my um, secretary, sir. <laughs> she's, she's a very good secretary. <laughs> it is our sacred duty to defend the world. And it's what I'm going to do. Yes! Wow. Wow. Ha! Huh. Beautiful. How can a woman possibly <laughs> fight in this fight? We use our principles. Although I am not opposed to engaging in a bit of fisticuffs should the occasion arise. <laughs> oh, I cannot come out soon enough. That cannot come out soon enough. Hey guys, it's Dustin. I'm back, and we just saw the brand new official trailer past the San Diego Comic-Con, so probably the first official trailer, I'm going to say, um, not dealing with Comic-Con or anything else, of the Wonder Woman movie. Holy crap. Um, amazing. Amazing. Uh, that trailer is beautiful, to be honest with you. A um, couple of things that I did want to hit touch base on, just taken away from the trailer that I saw. Um, number one, right away in the beginning, she says, you know, she used to want to save the world. But the closer that she got, um, the more that she saw the darkness. So basically, this is going to be Diana Prince, present day, Batman v Superman. And she's telling the story of the past, of how she became Wonder Woman, how she came to America and all this stuff. So it's basically going to be a present day, straight back to the past right away type of movie is what I'm kind of picking up just from this trailer. Which is great. I'm not opposed to it. Um, I think it'll work good, uh, especially just with the whole trailer we saw. How could it not work good? Um, secondly, you get, uh, Diana has this huge heart. She needs to save innocent people. She knows that she can. She has the power. She has the passion. She has the ability. Um, it's something she wants to do. It's something that she feels she's probably the only one out there who can do it. And she's taking it upon herself to go on and get it. So that's awesome to see too. Um... T everything else uh number one the humor there's two little spots in there right when diana prince uses those bracelets and she shots off one of those bullets um to save steve trevor over there from getting shot at uh, and the look on both their faces is just priceless second off we get the color the color scheme is definitely a lot brighter versus what we've seen in batman v superman what a lot of fans want it but what i noticed is we still have that dark tone with a little bit of that color thrown in. Perfect. That's amazing. That's what we need. You don't need to go from a dark gray movie to this hills are alive with the sound of music, beautiful, bright, all this other stuff. You gave us a perfect little mixture in this Wonder Woman movie. So, honest to God truth, this is the movie where they found their stride. They need to, basically, just from these two trailers, 
this is what DCU needs to do with the rest of their movies going forward. Um, obviously, this is a trailer. We can't say, oh, this is how the whole movie is going to look. But come June 2017, when we see this movie, if this is any indication of what the movie is going to be, if not better when we actually see it, we got it. DC is back on the top, baby. Um, music, I love the music. I love the Wonder Woman theme. Uh, hearing it in Batman v Superman, I wasn't a big fan of it, really didn't know what to take away from it. Um, the more I've heard it in the trailers, I've listened to it on the Batman v Superman soundtrack, it's really grown on me. Uh, and seeing it in the Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con trailer, and seeing it in this trailer is perfect fitting. I, I get goosebumps just hearing that music now, and I'm a guy, I'm a huge Batman, a huge Superman fan. Um, so for Wonder Woman to see, you know get me amped up is huge yes she's a dc comic book hero um but that's saying something they're playing towards not just females showing that female empowerment but guys they're getting guys amped up they're like holy crap a chick who's gorgeous and can kick ass this is perfect we want to see this which is great for movies in general not just superhero comic book movies uh but just for women in these big huge roles all across uh, the actors and stuff like that so that's great um the lasso is beautiful. It, it's got that glow. It stands out. It's not this dull thing just hanging on her waist. It actually has that empowerment from the lasso of truth that we're probably going to see a lot in this Wonder Woman movie that's going to carry on in a Justice League come next November. Um, and lastly, guys, um, I want to go back to that humor portion. The very end of, after we hear the Wonder Woman theme kick in again, the very end of of the scene, uh, her interacting with that one woman who is uh, Steve Trevor's maid um, or housekeeper or assistant type person, basically, um, who in the San Diego Comic-Con trailer says, oh, it, where I'm from, we call that slaves. And the woman says, oh, I like her. Um, they have another interaction. Wonder Woman is dressed up in this American uh, old school garb. Um, she basically is jumping around, kind of leaning back and forth. How can you fight in this? And basically the woman says, we don't we don't fight, we use our principles. But I'm not opposed to getting in a couple shots here and there. Hilarious, so we definitely got that humor in it. Guys, let me know down in the comments, what'd you think of this trailer? Did it live up to your anticipation? For me, it surpassed my anticipation. Epic, epic, epic. I cannot say a good, good enough stuff about this trailer. I hope DC hears this. I hope they keep bringing on this good, positive vibe we're getting from this trailer. Let's see what we get in the future. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.